Before I begin, I ask for your help so more people can see this channel and my work. Please take a moment to give me a thumbs up and a comment which will help others like you find this video. In the end, it's all about finding someone who aligns with your values and lifestyle. Pay attention to those green flags. You will be on your way to a happy and fulfilling relationship. Welcome to the Hollid Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, the ultimate guide to spotting a keeper, green flags in women. But before embarking on an expedition, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscription, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. So gather around, grab a cold one, and let's dive into the wild world of green flags to look for. I'm not here to be politically correct. I am here to tell it like it is. No fluff, just straight talk to those searching for that elusive thing called a good relationship or marriage. First off, let's talk about a woman who loves cooking. Now, I'm not saying she has to be the next Gordon Ramsay, but if she knows her way around a kitchen, that's a massive green flag. Think about it. Someone who can whip up a delicious meal is someone who cares about nurturing you. And trust me, guys, there's nothing like coming home to the smell of home-cooked meal, and it's like a hug to your soul. Next, look for a woman who loves children. If her dream job is to be a mom, you've hit the jackpot. This shows she's nurturing, patient, and ready to invest in a future with you. Remember, a woman who is genuinely loves kids usually will bring that same love and patience into your relationship. Let's be real, guys like Cristiano Ronaldo and his partner Georgina Rodriguez seem to have it all figured out. They're all about family and it's working for them. Now let's talk about appearance. A woman who takes care of herself is a woman who respects herself and by, expect, by extension respects you. It's not about being a supermodel. It's about showing she values her health and appearance. Let's be honest, who wouldn't want to be with someone who turns head for all the right reasons? Just look at Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. They're both always looking sharp and clearly have a lot of respect for each other. On the topic of male friends, this one is controversial, but hear me out. If she has a lot of male friends, be cautious. Men and women may be able to be friends. There are those who feel they can't. It's conditional. But if her bestie is a dude, there's always that underlying tension. It's like leaving a steak next to a hungry lion. Eventually, something's going to give and you don't want to be the guy left holding an empty plate. A woman who loves her parents is a gem. If she treats her folks with respect and love, she's likely to treat your family the same way. A healthy relationship with her parents usually means she knows how to maintain healthy relationships in general. Take notes from Tom Brady and Giselle Bouchon. They're both super close with their families. However, this is still not a guarantee because in the end, they broke up. But if you want to look at your future, look at her mother. Now, my brothers, let's address the dress code. 
A woman who dresses modestly isn't out there looking for random attention and validation. She's got her priorities straight and knows that her body is for her and her man, not the whole world. Classy is always better than flashy any day of the week. Faith is another big one. A woman who believes in God and holds strong religious views is often someone who values commitment and devotion. Yes, I know it's not a guarantee. Yes, I know sometimes you get girls who did their hot girl summer for an entire 10 years and then they're just about to hit the wall and they go running to the church to find a husband. I'm not ignorant of that and that's probably going to be a different video. However, when you have someone who isn't one of those, religious can provide a strong foundation for marriage. Just look at how Denzel Washington credits his long-lasting marriage to his faith, it's solid as a rock. Clubbing. Now that is a hard pass. A woman who'd rather spend a quiet evening at home or with close friends than out at the clubs is probably a keeper. Clubbing every weekend might be fun when you're 21 but if she's still hitting the clubs in her 30s, it's time to reassess. This is where you want someone who's on the same wavelength as you are. A clean house is a happy house. If she keeps her place or her car neat and tidy, that's a good sign she's got her life together. It's a simple thing but it speaks volumes about her character. A woman who values cleanliness shows she's disciplined and organized. This is not to be confused with OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, and being a neat freak. Smoking and drinking. Big red flags, sure. A glass of wine here and there is fine. But if she's always got a cigarette in her hand or knocking back shots, that's a sign of bigger issues. Look at somebody like Holly Berry, who's known for her healthy lifestyle and she looks amazing well into her 50s. That's the kind of longevity you want in a partner or girlfriend or wife. Tattoos are another tricky subject. Some guys dig them, but generally, too many tattoos can be a major turnoff. They're often associated with a more rebellious lifestyle, which might not mesh with a stable marriage focused mindset. And even if you don't want to get married, it still may not mesh with a stable long term relationship mindset. Lastly, Let's talk about the effinist. Now, there's nothing wrong with an honest equality as long as you also accept the accountability and responsibilities that come with it. But if she's hardcore into the effinist ideology, it can create tension. And when I say tension, I mean a nightmare. You want a partner or a wife, not a rival. Someone like Gal Gadot, she's strong, successful, but also embodies grace and femininity. That's the balance you're looking for. So, let's wrap this up. Guys, finding a good woman for a long-term relationship or marriage isn't really rocket science. Look for these green flags and you'll be at least on the right path. Now I can't guarantee you're going to get there, but at least you're doing better than you were five minutes ago. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long. 
and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories, questions, or seeking advice to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories and defeats and joys as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, El Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher, ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Before you run off, check out these other videos, then give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people, and this support helps me make more content for you.